What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with a vintage collection market update. We are going to focus mainly on vehicles, play sets, and box sets in this video. There's been a lot of recent data, and there was a nice trend for it. And I was like, wow, that's another vehicle that sold. Wow, that's another three-pack that sold. Well, we're going to put them all together along with some regular TBC releases so you guys can get a better sense of where some of the prices are for some of those items, including the Razor Crest. But I wanted to start off with an update on uh, one of my Patreon supporters, Keith Guppy. He's over in the UK. And if you don't know Keith, he's got a really, really large Star Wars collection. And I'm going to show you some photos from his collection that he sent me. He's in the process of redoing the shelving in some of the rooms of his collection. And when I say rooms, I'm yes, I mean rooms. He's got multiple rooms to his very large collection. He's been covered in the press for having one of the largest collections in the UK. And he was kind enough to send me some photos and said, if you want to use them, great. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But I thought it would be kind of fun to just show you some of the before photos of Keith's collection, uh, one of the rooms anyway, um, all of his modern stuff. And as you can see here, he's got a number of the three packs. He's got some of the more recent TVC releases. It looks like he's got some retro collection going on. Uh, some original trilogy collection. I mean, he's got a massive Black Series over here, Black Series. Uh, this is just one room within Keith Guppy's collection. He's got some more OTC vehicles here. Look at all of these awesome vehicles he's got. And he does have the Costco Clone Wars Walker. I, I can't remember which name of the Walker it is, but it's a gigantic box, and he's got that one graded. I mean, it's just insane how big his collection is. And uh, we talked about this in the collecting fatigue video, Keith. Uh, one of the one of the other subscribers said, "There's a fine line between collecting and hoarding." And I'm and I know that you're right on the line, Keith. So be care be careful. It's amazing to me that his wife tolerates this. Look at this collection. Look at this. This is unbelievable. If I had this collection, my wife would murder me. There would be no trial separation, as I've said in other videos. There would be no trial separation or any kind of marriage counseling. She would go straight to the kitchen, grab a steak knife, and try to murder me. Look at all of these Walmart exclusive VC-177, Grogu, and, and Mandalorians. He's got like 10 of them here. What are you doing, Keith? What are you doing? So anyway, he's in the process of taking all of this down, and he's going to be redoing the shelves in here. So he promised me some updates. Look at this uh, Naboo fighter pilot this is like some kind of like store display and we all saw this in the in the the recent book of boba fett and how that is now the mandalorian's new ship but look at that store display it's gigantic and uh it's hilarious knowing it's it makes me feel a lot better knowing that there's collectors out there like keith who make me look really good and i'm storing these photos because as my collection room gets more and more out of control i'm going to pull these photos up to and show them to my wife and say look Look at this. I'm not, I'm not nearly as bad as this guy, right? So you can't divorce me. You can't murder me. Uh, but it's really cool to see all these awesome. He's got some Power of the Force here. Thank you, Keith, for sharing these awesome photos. He's got some five POA figures over here. I mean, I, I can't even process how many items he's got just in this one room. I mean, look at this. He's got the 30th anniversary over here. Look at, I mean, this is unbelievable. All these massive ships. And I, I'm not even showing half of some of the stuff he sent me. It's just completely ridiculous. So congratulations, Keith. I can't wait to see the finished product once you kind of reorganize these rooms. But unbelievable. Let's dig into some, some items. I'm going to start with one that did not sell, thank the Lord. It, ha it, it renews my faith in humanity that somebody did not pay $10,000 for this item. But I was almost expecting it to sell. This was the HasLab Razor Crest. It's a miscard of the Jawa Elder on the, the Razor Crest version of Grogu. What an amazing item. This is, to my knowledge, the only one that has turned up so far. And you can tell it's a legit item. It's a, it's a legitimate miscard that showed up in his this, this seller's Razor Crest. And I am not criticizing the seller trying to get $10,000 for this. I really am not. I mean, you know, if you get it, great. Good congratulations. Because I don't, I don't think that there's another one out there like that. Um, I'm a little concerned right here, though. It may it might just be the, the the lighting, but this this area right here is concerning. So, note to the seller, uh, you might just want to have maybe some improved photos here. I think I think it's just reflective light uh, for that for that blister because that's a standard gap. 
that's on all of these, you know, modern vintage collection items. But, you know, just I, I would maybe just make sure you show all sides of that seal very carefully. So uh, if somebody does have the deep pockets to, to pay your asking price, I never criticize anybody for, for, for their asking price. OK, if you if you want it's your item and you can price it however you want. It. And I'm not saying that uh, that he's incorrect because we've we've documented a number of missed cards on the channel that go for big money. We saw one with the best car Mandalorian card back with a Boba Fett inside it that sold for like eight thousand dollars or something crazy. This one was listed for ten thousand uh, dollars, but somebody did not. No one bid on it. No one bid on it. So, I, you know, maybe he gets it. Maybe he doesn't. If you're a watcher of the channel. The seller, if the seller is a watcher of the channel, I would love to know if you end up selling this thing and what price it's for. So please reach out to me just for data purposes. I'd, I'd love to know what, what someone ends up paying for this. But it looks like a legitimate miss card, and I, I'm pretty sure this is the same guy that posted it in the Vintage Collection group on Facebook, run by John Miko and the rest of the admins. So good luck on the sale. But it did not sell. It was listed for $10,000 plus the $15 shipping, by the way. Uh, but it did not sell. But good luck to the seller. I hope you get it sold. But I, I, I'd be I'd be hard pressed to pay that kind of money for it. But somebody may. You never know. Uh, here was a 2011 Rebel Commando. This is the Revenge of the Jedi uh, store. This is the retail version with the proto proto prototype FET armor. I can't talk today. I had too much caffeine. It's got the paperwork inside the blister. Really nice, clean example. And it came with this sliding acrylic case. It was over in the UK, in London, and it was listed for 140 British pounds. It sold for 182 US dollars. The, the 140 pounds was the sales price. It was the list price, and it was the sales price. It did sell for that. So a really nice example. And this is one we've, we've looked at a few times on the channel as being one that's creeping up in price. VC26 was the VC number. Unpunched, really nice example. Looks like it might have had maybe, question mark, a little bit of a ding there on the left-hand side of the blister, or the right-hand side if you're looking at it from the front. It looks like it might have a ding there, but maybe not. Hard to tell. But it still sold for 182 US. Uh, all right, now we're going to dig into what I promised at the beginning of the video. Uh, that is the play sets and box sets, vehicles, store exclusives, and things like that. So this is the Jabba's Palace play set. This includes the Han and Carbonite, as well as the Reyes. And uh, this was a, a really nice, clean box set. It looks like it's factory sealed. The box was in great ship, shape, and it was listed for $55 plus $20 shipping, and it did sell. And I found a number of examples in that price point for that Jabba's Palace playset. It's just kind of a diorama type piece, uh, very similar to the Corridor playset, which we'll show in a second. Uh, here is the Slave One. This is one I've got in my collection. This one sold for $190. Plus free shipping, it was a really clean box. It looked to be really, really good condition overall. There's some better photos for those of you who don't have this one and are looking for it. I'd be willing to part with my graded one. I would prefer to not have to, to ship it, though. Um, but I've got a CAS 90 grade Slave 1. And if you're near Tennessee and you want it, uh, let me know. Because Chris W. over at Rogue 5 Toys is, is going to be presenting... Or he does have a table at the ICCC convention. Uh, I am not going to that. But if you have interest in my graded Slave 1, I'm willing to part with it. And I'm willing to talk about price. I've got, I was thinking of asking about 500 for it. 500 US dollars for it. I don't know if that's fair or not. But it seems fair to me given that an ungraded one sold for 190 And it costs about 200 to get it graded. And plus shipping back and forth from CAS. I probably got about 500 in it. I'd probably sell it for that. So if you have interest in it, let me know. I can work something out with you. It would have to be local, though. I'm not shipping that. I'm not risking shipping it. But I've got it graded, and it's just, uh, it, I like the item a lot, and I think it'll continue to, to, to hold its value, but I just don't have the room for it. And I'm trying to kind of pare down my vintage collection big items like that. I already sold my combat assault tank and the from Rogue One and then I also sold the, the Imperial Troop Transport from the Mandalorian. I sold both of those. But I do have this one in a CAS 90 grade. If you if you want more photos, reach out to me uh, on email actionfiguregrader at gmail. Uh, here's the Tantive 4 corridor playset. 
There are, uh, this seller had 10 of them. Two of them have sold. They sold for $33.95. Now that includes the pack-in. The VC-171, I believe it is. Don't quote me on that. The M the ESB version of the Stormtrooper. It's a great card back. I did have that one graded, but I did pass that on to another collector at a very good price, um, mind you. Uh, but that, uh, no, I'm sorry. This I'm an idiot. That, that This uh, includes the Rebel Fleet Trooper. The carbon the the carbon block freezing chamber the carbon freezing chamber is the one that includes the emperor the ESB stormtrooper this this tantive four playset includes the rebel trooper but I did sell the the stormtrooper as well as the rebel trooper recently to uh, channel subscribers so uh, thank you guys for for your purchase I gave you good deals on them I hope you I hope you feel like I did uh, but this uh, goes for thirty four dollars on free shipping so that's a pretty good deal though considering it includes the the Rebel Fleet Trooper inside there. Uh, the Land Speeder, this is the Target exclusive Land Speeder from whatever it was, 2010, 2012 timeframe. Really nice, clean example. That sold for $138 uh, at auction, plus $7 shipping. That sold on April 8th for 15 bids. That's a pretty good price there. Uh, here is the Vintage Collection, I think, don't quote me. This is the this, I believe, is the newer one. Yeah, this is the newer Luke Skywalker um, X-Wing, it's got the multi-language name pill. There was a Red Box Toys R Us exclusive. That's the older 2010-ish version. Anyway, this one was a pretty good deal. This one was sold over in England, uh, UK, and I assume that there's just a difference to the box because I don't I don't believe that the US version of this box had the multi-language name pill. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think this is exclusive to Europe. And that one sold for $100 US or $76.50 pounds plus shipping that's a pretty pretty nice looking example razor crest we've covered this a number of times but uh recent data here this was april 8th this sold for 601 dollars and uh it looked pretty good it looked pretty clean overall uh that's always the trick with this one because you can see it's got a little bit of a ding right here in the upper corner and, and down here also so you're gonna you're 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 gonna get a little bit of a discount if your box is, is got some damages in the corners from fedex manhandling it but six hundred dollars seems to be kind of the recent floor for a sealed inbox razor crest here was a really clean example and it of course fetched a better price you know it's really really clean no no dings on the corners that one sold for 791 dollars plus 50 dollars shipping uh, i would hate to ship this though because it was so pristine it looked to be in really great shape overall probably an overall 90 really i mean it was really clean but $791 plus $50 will give you, so that gives you a price range, right? $600 for a beat up box and have some, you know, corner damage versus, let's call it $840 for a really clean example. So that gives you a nice price range to aim for. Uh, the Galaxy's Edge Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run Edition. This is another one that continues to, to command pretty good prices. This sold for $695 on free shipping. That's about right. That's, that seems to be the going rate these days for that one. Uh, one that that is a pretty I think this was a pretty decent deal. This was the Target exclusive Rebel Armored Snow Speeder. And the box looked to be in really great shape overall, probably overall 85 condition for the box. But uh oh it was open. I forgot. Yeah, this is one that was open but unplayed with. But look how nice that is. That's a really nice example there. That one sold for $123.50 plus $15 shipping. So it was open, unfortunately. I didn't notice that at first when I put this up. But that gives you a nice low point. I think probably you're closer to $200 for a mint and seal box example. Um, this is another one that <clears throat> seems to command a lot on the secondary market lately. This is the Scanning Crew, the Kmart exclusive two-pack Scanning Crew. Um, so that gives you a look there at that one. It looked to be a pretty, pretty good shape overall for that box. Just minor corner wear. Uh, here's the back of it. Pretty nice example. That sold for $85 after shipping. Pretty pretty good price. Um, all right, now let's dig into a couple of these three packs. This is the, uh, the PulseCon or Hasbro Direct exclusive. I don't remember. I can't remember what it's an exclusive for. My Probably one of the best, in my opinion, for these three packs. I love the artwork on the back of this. Look how sick that is. That is so gorgeous. Every time I see it, I forget that I have it. I'm like, man, I already own that, man. Look how beautiful that is. That is a gorgeous... Three pack that sold for one hundred and seventy dollars plus ten dollars shipping. That's the going rate. It seems to, it seems to be leveled off right now, at around one hundred and seventy to one hundred and eighty dollars. 
Uh, here's another one that sold. This one had a look like a, maybe just a little bit of wear to it or a little bit of bend to the, to the back of the box. Yeah, just a little bit of wave to the back of the box. So that one uh, this is a good, good shot. You can see here. It's got just a little bit of bend there. Still factory sealed, but that's still sold for $140 plus $10 shipping. So $150 to about $180 is the going rate for that one. This is a rare one. This is a tough one. This is one that Keith's got, speaking of Keith, uh, at the beginning of this video. Uh, I think I saw this one in one of the photos that he sent me. But this is the gigantic Target exclusive three-pack of a three-pack. So pretty incredible box, box item. So this is one that Boss Bounty's got on his channel as well. I think he's got just about every three pack, but uh, this special action figure set is massive. And yes, I did actually see somebody get this graded. I think it was a UKG graded box set like this. Just insane. Look at that box. Look at the back of that thing. That is huge. Really, really cool to look at. But anyway, that one was listed for $210. Best offer accepted with free shipping. I don't know how you ship that. I think I'd go pick that one up myself. It would probably cost just as these days, it would cost just as much to ship it as the actual item. But I, don't, I didn't look up what the final sales price was, but it was $210 best offer accepted. Uh, here was a VC-22 Admiral Akbar. This sold for 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Return of the Jedi version with the free Boba Fett offer. Uh, U.S. card. But it looked really clean. Just very minor scratches uh, around that punch tab there. Uh, that sold for 50 bucks plus $8 shipping. That was a pretty good deal. I, I think I included this one in this video because it was such a... A good price. Um, some of the latest releases are, are being uh, are starting to hit the market now. We've got the Ahsoka re-release, which look how beautiful that looks. You can definitely tell they reworked that figure. Really nice. If you want to see a review of that, go check out Only One Kenobi and Bit, uh, Boss Bounty on YouTube. But here's the Clone Captain Rex that was in the Amazon exclusive four pack, Bad Batch four pack. Uh, but anyway, both of these were sold together. They sold for sixty bucks. Plus free shipping. Now, remember, we documented a clone Captain Rex that sold for like $180 or something stupid. It might have even been over $200. So that just shows you how much it's fallen. Because this this was like a really nice mint example of both. So uh, anyway, 60 bucks took those home. It's all about being patient. And we're going to end the video on some customs. You guys liked it when I included that Tantive 4 corridor playset. Kind of like cockpit console exclusive. So I found a few more customs that were really cool. This seller, this I think it's the same seller that had that playset exclusive uh, kind of custom that inserts into the, the Tantive 4 corridor. He had this Cad Bane with uh, a photo or, you know, the card back took photos from the Book of Boba Fett episodes. But that looked pretty cool. It turned out pretty nice. He had them listed for $43 U.S. or $55 Canadian dollars plus shipping. Both of those sold. I hope we get Cad Bane soon. I really want him. I really want him in the vintage collection. And then this seller had some really cool pieces. This was a Jabba's Palace Nook that fit with that vintage collection. Uh, that that fits in with that palace playset that we looked at earlier in the video. Look how cool those are. They they plug right in, and these should have been added really as part of that playset. But if you want to get one of these. Uh, he's got eight of them available. They're online. Reliving the Past Again is the name of the seller, so you can look him up. But these are custom nooks that fit in uh, to that Jalus playset, the Jabba's Palace playset. I can't talk right now. Uh, but they fit right in, and they look great. I mean, look how great those look. Awesome. Anyway, those are 40 bucks. They're not cheap, but uh, they're very nice. I don't know if that's for one or for two. Um, yeah, it looks like it's just for one, but... That was nice. And then he also had this one. It's if you want a set of stairs instead. I mean, these are perfect for, uh, you know, doing photos. You know, a lot of a lot of you guys like to do these custom photos. Um, but those are those are nice, too. Those are 30 bucks plus $7 shipping. And then finally, I wanted to point this one out because if this truly did sell for $650, you need to have your head examined, okay? This was a custom. I'm not trying to disparage the custom because customizers do great work. But they took Luke Skywalker, the rescue, the Mandalorian, and they put Luke with Grogu and R2-D2 in here in like a two-pack on like a vintage-style card. But he wanted $650 for it, and it says one sold, one available. I really hope he did not sell that for $650 because that somebody and their money are too easily parted for that kind of price. That's way too much. Way too much money. But it looked cool, though. It's, it gives. I think it gives... Um, Hasbro a good idea for another kind of deluxe 
like they did with the Mando Crease, uh, Maldo Crease, or however you pronounce it, VC-212, is it? Where you had Grogu, Mandalorian, and then those spiders and like that big kind of custom. This would make a nice one as well because they're getting ready to release another R2, and they just, they've got an updated Grogu, and they've got a Luke. They could easily repackage those and do this kind of thing pretty easily, I think. Um, so I'd be surprised if that doesn't make its way to the legitimate retail market at some point. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there because I think it's a good idea for Hasbro to take a look at. Not that they actually care about anything I say, but I just thought it would be worth showing to you guys. That's all I got for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.